Fall fringes. As a black belt in Kuksu, you have a special uniform that signifies that you're black belt rank. And that fall fringes basically means exactly that. And she would also today receive gold lapel pin, a large certificate that is an international recognized certificate of the black belt, as well as, of course, her black belt on. And uh, after that, she's going to also demonstrate a little bit for you. Okay? Very good. Good. Everybody take a couple steps back. Good. And over here, I'd like you to go up this way. And Morgan, move a little bit this way. Everybody else move up this way a little bit. Good job. All right. We're now going to do the black belt promotion. Dominic, come up this way. And uh, we're going to put this. All right. Yep. Certificate of promotion. Uh, certificate number is 17741. Certificate reads, the Grandmaster certifies that above named person has qualified to the rank of first degree black belt in the Korean traditional martial art of Kuksuan. Get a certification March 26, 2010. Sandy Straw. Yes, sir. Stripe you see on her means uh, quarterly testing. Every three months we do black belt testing. Successful <coughs> testing will indicate a one stripe per. Now she's getting a solid black belt on her. And with this, she also receives this uh, internationally recognized black belt certificate and also the black belt uh, membership <coughs> cards uh, that is recognized in 26 different countries and about over, over a thousand schools worldwide. This is a very large organization, and almost anywhere you go, you will see a Kutsuan. Uh, uh, teaching and learning and so forth. Congratulations. Turn around, please. Now again, do Chogunim. Your title. Everybody say Chogunim. Chogunim. That's our brand new title. And it's a black belt first degree black, uh, black belt rank. And remember, I'm not giving you the certificate. The certificate is always awarded by the Grandmaster. I'm only on behalf of the Grandmaster certifying you to that, signed and certified by Grandmaster Kutsane. Point me down, please. Congratulations. Please. All right, everybody, let's give her a good hand. punches and blocks and then movement of the joints properly so that you maintain good coordination, good balance and then good control which is essential when you're trying to defend yourself or that if you need to go ahead and use it more aggressive pattern. But in all means, the most important thing is how to make your movement to move smoothly in a coordinated manner and then create a motion that is very powerful and speedy without losing the balance. And then after all, not losing control of your movements.
give her a big hand as we're going to have Doggy Names uh, doing staff sparring. And Kyosanim, get yourself ready for either you can do Yokome or Kyopaya. After learning how to do a bone or staff spinning, you also learn a form, and after that, you learn how to do a little bit of coordinated, choreographed step sparring. Has the offense and defense, the motions that involves and simulating how one would actually use those techniques to fight and defend themselves in the motions. Eric! This is a level where you learn when you become a black belt before becoming a second grade black belt. And all in all, you have five parts together that shows again complete motions of the step spinning, step pairing, and of course the offense and defensive moves that strikes and follows through in the The step is famous because it is a non-bladed weapon, which means Although it doesn't kill a person directly like a sword that will cut through a person, it can actually strike in the vital points including pressure points and whatnot. And it's been used by Buddhist monks. Very good job. Next, Shogun Eric. Uh, he has been a grand champion uh, for his level, youth level, which is age under 12 and under. Uh, for three years in a row, as 10 year old, 11 year old, 12 year old. As it becomes 13 in June, he will be in a different, completely different division, with 13 to 17 division. But he has a record of being a grand champion three times in a row. And to be a grand champion, you have to have to be able to perform all your MTM form, weapon forms, including the sword and stab, techniques, sparring, and breaking, all of that accumulated points will give you a grand champion category. So in Guksu, you cannot be good at just one thing. You have to be good at everything and have to be able to perform at all high level. originally from, when I say originally, I'm not sure where he's exactly from, but he's trained in Michigan and got his black belt from there. And he came about a couple years ago to help teach one dot. And then he had to go back to Michigan, but he's back for good, I hope, to help teaching and, and, and help out with classes and training and so forth. He is a second degree black belt, going for his third degree and due for promotion and very soon. He's going to be demonstrating a different type of sword technique or form, and it's called reversed sword form. It's called reversed because the grip is reversed. Whereas earlier you saw straight grip, now the grip is slightly different. That will help manipulating in so many different ways that allows more of a circular pattern. Previously it was all linear cuts and, and strikes. This one is more of a circular motion that is essential in wording and fighting off multiple direction and multiple partners. Historically speaking, this was a special type of technique that was used during the invasions of Mongolians and Chinese and Japanese throughout a, a Korean history. For over, over centuries, Korea had been constantly attacked and because of such a small peninsula and nation, they didn't have a very large army, so each of the country, each of the swordsmen or soldiers had to be as good as fighting off anywhere between five to ten of the opponents. So this special technique is developed to uh, uh, increase their potential and possibility to directly fight multiple directions. <laughs> Now we're going to have Jogi Nim Sandy. She's going to do a self-defense routine, 
and is choreographed using some of the, uh, the dominims who are also assistant instructors in this school. you think that I have anything to do with this? Nothing. I didn't do anything as far as helping any choreograph. The thing is this, when you train and practice, you become as creative as you want to be. Whatever you learn, you apply, you use the techniques that you have. And that's how you can become a good trainer and black belt and instructor. Understanding the material and then being able to become creative enough to be personal so that anytime you need to defend yourself, it becomes automatic. Everything you learn, cannot be applied if you don't understand how to apply to yourself. Next, Dominic, you're going to go out there and do the board breaking. So, Dominic, just go ahead and set up. So, once again, let's give her a big hand. That was an excellent yeah. self -defense. All choreographed by herself. That's more impressive. Ready? And number one. Number one. Ready? You! 